Well, welcome inside our San Francisco studios. It's Inside Pac-12 Football, the digital edition. Mike Yam, Curtis Calway, Matt Leinert with you. It was good to see Colorado closing the gap. I think Mike McIntyre even talked about that. It's handled business, sort of, at least in the first half against Oregon, not able to, to close there. Meanwhile, it looks like Arizona State in a lot of ways is almost, they look like maybe some of those problems that they've had are completely gone. You'll be able to watch this one. Pac-12 Network coverage starts 6 p.m. Pacific time. Biggest key in your mind on what we need to see in this one? Well, Colorado, they have to get back to the running game, number one. Last week, when you look at it, only 77 yards rushing last week against Oregon. They need to get back to that. Prior to that, Atkins, he was getting loose. Phillip Lindsay was getting loose. And then you look at, you still have Nelson Spruce out there yeah. who can still get it done. They have to get back to playing that kind of ball. The biggest question mark is when they get to competition, can they do that? We've, we've seen that against some of the lower teams. You step into Pac-12 play, and of course, Oregon, they're not the old Oregon, but they're still a good football yeah. team. Arizona State, we've seen improvement. They've gotten back to where we think they are. Can they, now, can Colorado go back and run the football yeah. the way we've seen them run in the past? The keys for me for Arizona State defensively is stopping that run. And this, this defense finally showed up last week against UCLA. That was the defense that Todd Graham had talked about all preseason. This is the best group he's had. And they showed up, and they rattled a really potent UCLA offense, and they shut out that running game. Yeah. That's why I think Arizona State has an edge in this football game. Uh, they're going to be able to uh, contain Colorado's rushing attack. And offensively, uh, Mike Berkovici had his most efficient game last week. I thought he was excellent in his, his ball handling and decision making. But Demario Richard and Kalen Balaj are going to be featured in this game against a 10th ranked Colorado rush defense in the conference. They struggle. They saw, we saw that against Oregon last week. I think Arizona State has, has maybe found its mojo now. They kind of got their confidence back. In, and they're, they're still very much alive in the Pac-12 race. Threat in the South still? Yeah, I mean, I, they got to put some games back to back, but but yeah, I mean, they still got good players, and, and that was the team that we expected them to be last week. Yep. Best part about the the running game that you talked about, Kalen Balaj might have given us the best moment we've seen already in college football, just carrying guys <laughs> into the end zone. He he missed a lot of the season because yes. of mono. Doesn't seem like he's yeah, lost he's, any he's strength. Back. He says he has, but I'm not buying it after <laughs> what I saw on the football field. Remember, for complete coverage of this one, as soon as it's over, it's Pac-12 final score, and for everything that's happening around the conference, all you have to do, follow us on Twitter at Pac-12 Networks.